What's the deal with uh, mouth taping? I know you talk about that in the book. I've tried that a little bit. It worked pretty well for me. Um, I know some people are like, well, my nose is too stopped and I just I can't put uh, tape on my mouth or I feel like I'm not going to be breathing at night. Is that something that you would well, recommend for people? Totally. Totally. And we have our own tape and I don't want to plug it, but we do have our own tape which surrounds the mouth because a lot of people think this is so off the wall, taping the mouth closed at night. The tape that we use is an elasticated strip, kinesio tape, and it's stretchable and it's specifically formulated for the for around the mouth. So you stretch it and it brings the lips together, but without covering the lips. Again, it, nobody should be waking up with a dry mouth in the morning. See, the thing about the human nose is that the more you use it, the better it works. And if somebody has a stuffy nose, practice this exercise. Now, don't do it if you're pregnant. Don't do it if you have any serious medical conditions, but it's actually pretty safe. So what you can do is get your mobile phone and you can breathe onto the screen. So I don't have my mobile phone close, so I'm going to use my diary. You breathe onto the screen and you look at the halo that's left on the screen from your breath and you get an idea there. You don't even have to do that, but it might give you an idea of which side of the nose is more open than the other. Then stand up. Take a normal breath in through your nose and out through your nose and pinch your nose and hold your nose and just start walking around the room and walk around the room until you build up a moderate to strong air hunger. Then let go of your nose, breathe in through your nose and get your breathing under, under recovery. Wait about a minute with normal breathing and do it again. Do it five or six times. Your nose opens up. Your nose is stuffy when your bolt score is less than 25 seconds. Get your bolt score above 25 seconds. And if you have reversible nasal obstruction, your nose will be much more open. Now, granted, elbows to the nose, punch to the nose, there's a mechanical trauma going on there. But at the same time, the vast majority of people can still breathe through their nose to a point that if the, if the deviated septum is so bad, you know, but we use a rule of thumb. If you can breathe through your nose for one minute, you can do it for life. And we also have some athletes use nasal dilators. So if you put one finger here and one finger here and you just gently prise your nostrils, you'll feel that it's easier to breathe through the nose. So during training, we use little nasal. I don't have them here either. I have prepared nothing. So you have a nasal dilator that's opening up the nose. And at least now you wouldn't wear this during a game, but you could wear it if you're going for a jog or if you're in the gym by yourself and you're doing your own routine. At least it allows you to maintain nasal breathing to get the benefits of it, but it just helps to open up the anatomy so that you can add an extra load onto, onto your, your body. Love it. So do whatever you can to get air in through the nose, whether that's dilator, whether that's the, the, the breath holding exercises. And then while you're in that good state where you can get air in, start breathing through the nose. And the more you do that, the more it'll just become kind of second nature and it'll yes. naturally open up. 